Hey everybody, it's Rob Vegas checking in from Melbourne, Australia with another video of Assembled the Troops. At the moment we're just jumping straight on over to Rob Vegas Technology Center. Apologies if you miss my flashy intros and things like that. We'll be bringing them back in shortly, but yeah, just at the moment. Um, yeah, I haven't been doing it, so my apologies there. Um, Today we're going to look at a bit of a strange one, and this um, raises more questions than it actually answers. Um, hang on a sec. Kaboom. Lighting upgrade. Yeah, this one raises, as I said, more questions than it answers. It's back blast. Yeah. Let's pour out the contents of the bag, as we always do on the show. I know it's a very popular part. You can see, oh dear, is you going, hang on a minute, there's two back blasts. Because for some reason they reissued back blast. So this came out probably 1993, like as a reissue. And for the life of me, I don't know why. Because, yeah, the, the first figure was fine. And this is pretty much a few exceptions, just a real like the same thing again now let's get him out of the way for a second because we've got to have a look at the original figure uh, we've got all the bits here so that's a win this is good news because we've got all the parts uh, we've got the legs that's a win we've got an o-ring there but i think that's going to be a bin ring because it's Looks a bit old and grotty. We've got the back. We've got the front. We've got the waist piece. And unfortunately, he has succumbed to that unfortunate uh, waist injury. And boy, did it take me long to work out that this was the correct waist piece for the figure. Because, um, yeah, there's just a lot of others that have similar waist pieces went through quite a bit of um that went on a bit of a mission we'll say we've got his weapon system it's probably not in the best shape his rocket launcher there and that looks really cool it's good stuff um yeah there are a few little plastic bits broken off and bent and things like that um just for wear and tear and time and stuff but a really cool bit of gear that but there's his head so he'll, he's going to be happy to have that He's got his bullet belt, um, as other reviewers have pointed out. He doesn't actually have a weapon that fires bullets, but maybe he's just carrying it for someone else. Maybe he lost a bet that day, or something to that effect. Then it brings us to the arm, and this is a real crazy thing that's happened, which I haven't seen before. Poor old mate Backblast here has suffered a very bad injury in that the peggy bit that goes to connect his arm to the body has broken off so we're gonna have to in order as to assemble this troop we're gonna have to get creative here and yeah let's see what we can come up with because this is going to be a bit of a mission maybe that's why they brought in back blast version 2 which is, yeah, anyway, let's leave him out of this for now, and we'll come back to him later, because I'm going to see if I can't come up with a workaround to get this arm back together, get it in the body, and get this troop assembled, so stand by, friends. All right, folks, we've had to head on out to the Rob Vegas Coastal Defender, because with... A little energy on and a lot of luck we might be able to save the day here as per oh and s we don't want to use this sort of stuff inside especially when there's pets and things to that effect so we've got ourselves some you know just quick 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 super glue that's obviously not the brand name but that's what we will call it I've got myself like one of the old cotton bud things that you're not meant to stick in your ear. Um, but everyone does because that's just 
Like, I don't know, just whatever the hell. But I've cut one of the ends off on an angle, like, and what I'm going to try and do is, you know, I'd rather not be doing this, but, because I hate using glue for stuff. So, I'm going to pop as much as I can on, whoop, ah, bugger, it's stuck to me already. You can see why I don't like doing this. I probably should use the, the old prongaroos. So apparently this stuff bonds in seconds, so that means I'll probably have a whole lot of parts of action figures stuck to me by the end of the day. So that will make for some interesting content. So there we go, I finally got a good grip on the part. Okay, so let's squish out, gee this will win um, YouTube video of the year, won't it? There we go, let's squish out some more glue on there, just enough. And we'll just gently pop it onto that joint. We don't want too much on there, um, but just enough to... Don't sniff the glue either, people, it's bad for you. So I've got a few blobs on there. It is raining today in Melbourne, typical weather behaviour for September. But yeah, what I want to do is get that in there, but I don't want to, you know, get it in there so much, as much that, because I'm going to guess we're going to lose a lot of motion by super gluing that back together. And what I mean by that, of course, it's going to be quite fragile being glued back together, but potentially the glue is going to gum up the action of the arm being able to move like up and down and things like that so that's in order to fix this problem that's a compromise i'm gonna have to deal with and just you know ah, bugger you know just roll with it and, and just go with it like we'll still have the swivel action and um all of that at the elbow and you know moving up and down at the elbow but by super gluing that there we're gonna potentially lose that upping up and down motion but I do think that's a worthwhile compromise in that I want to get this dude's arm back not like he's gonna be going on any massive missions and things like that at the moment just having a look at that I can see that that has actually bonded quite well using the old quickened glue that I'm using so that is good news in that he's going to be able to have his arm back and I'm sure he'll appreciate that and I hope you guys too. All right so we're back. Back blast, brand new assembled arm. Like I said we're probably not going to get any more of that up and down flappy movement from it and it's just a compromise in terms of fixing the figure and you know, I guess I just had to make that call. Let's get down to business as it were cause we're going to get him a brand new o-ring, we're going to get him a brand new screw to hold his body together so he's getting the, the whole nine yards of treatment here. Not sure what's going on there, it looks like a bit of a split on the, th the left thigh but um doesn't look like nothing too much to worry about but of course as always what we're going to do is get that brand new o-ring in there on those leg parts we're going to thread that through the waist i think i mentioned in the earlier part the waist piece was just for some reason i just couldn't quite pick it um, but we finally got there i actually a beat it up against the waist piece on the reissue of back blast so that was how i was able to sort of go oh yeah that's that bit but anyway as always of course we've got the back and you can see there it's got the guide pegs at the bottom and of course this bit that the screw goes through that's what you put the rubber o-ring around to hold the figure together you use those guide pieces around the stomachy area and then you pop in your front bit as best as you can now I'm going to go with the right arm first 
Um, so bear with me on this while I do just that. And there we go, that looks pretty good. Looks like um, Backblast has been eating his wheat bix or his cornflakes or whatever because he's quite a muscly chap. Now we've got to be careful with this one because this of course is the rogue repair that we did. Oh dear. The rogue repair that we did out at the Coastal Defender reconnaissance base place. You know, we're, we're starting to expand here at Rob Vegas Industries. But yeah, that was... I'd, I'd not made that type of repair before and um, I hope not to have to do it again because it was quite traumatic for me and I'm going to guess it's traumatic for the figure. There we go. That's... He's not going to be able to... Yeah, as I thought, the glue has seized up the the gear in terms of moving that up and down, which is just a compromise we've had to make. If you guys out there know a better way to do that, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and just, yeah, hit me up on what you guys have been doing. Have you ever seen that particular problem before? I've not. So what I'm saying is, of course, you know, back blast can go with that arm um, but of course with this arm now that we've done that repair he cannot yeah so he can't do that particular action with that arm so um, that's just one of those things that's happened there he does have a knife which goes in that arm unfortunately I don't have that just at this point in time I've not located it um, I do remember seeing it in vague living memory, but yeah, just, it escapes me right now. Anyway, that's Back Blast. Like he's got his cool rocket launcher, um, which is really great. I get the feeling that back in the early 90s, G.I. Joe must have had a real problem with Cobra aircraft and artillery and tanks and things like that. So they had a need to have a lot of guys with big rocket launchers. The other day we looked at Heavy Duty. There's another guy we'll be busting out called Salvo. So yeah, they must have just had a big old problem. Like something was just going down. With Yeah, just need to have the heavy artillery on standby. But you know, hey, that's how they roll. It's G.I. Joe. It's all good. So let's pop... OG Black Blast away into storage and have a quick look at Black Blast version 2 I believe so you know it's pretty much they just changed the colours on him they took away his knife they gave him some sleeves for his shirt he came with the old um machine gun like the is it like a ooh, like an mp5 kind of thing that's great fantastic figure looks awesome but of course not as awesome as version one it came with this thing i don't know what the hell that is sorry folks uh and he came with one of the old spring-loaded rocket launchers yeah, they should have just kept it to OG back blast. You know, that's how it is. Anyway, um, like, comment, subscribe. Did you have any of these figures when you were growing up? Or did you not have these figures growing up? Like, let me know. I I'd be interested to hear. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. You know the drill. Yeah, thanks everyone. Catch you in the next video. Ah, shit. Well, that's fucked that, isn't it? No, oh, no, wait. No, oh, he's back. He's back in action. So let's just roll with it. You know what? Full credit for me for not making a back blast joke.